you know, and I, I don't get to see him very much, and I, I like the affection. Let's hold it there. Go to the bedroom. See what happens next. Right, you um, you lie down next to me, and you start reading me a story, and then you get me to rub myself against you. I'm not friendly, Daddy, now anymore, am I? I'm in the moment, I guess. Is that right? Yeah. So what do I do? You put your hand on my vagina. I suppose you don't know if I'm going to rape you or not. I don't know anything. I don't know what it is you want. I don't know what I have to do to make you stop. Why are you doing this to me? And if you could express this, if you could let it out, what would the sound be like, Sophie? <laughs> in my life and what I read in the papers. <sighs> you should listen to yourself. You used to have a brain, a heart. What happened? Do you know if that man comes back into this neighbourhood? What? Well, we're going to have to protect our children They'll from be safe. him. Oh, really? He's better. Really? I am not going to sacrifice my Don't daughter you believe just me. because you want to prove a point, a stupid, bloody oh, moral please, point. please, It's leave. a moral my house now. They suggested that it would be okay if Sophie decided she wanted to write to him, which she did. There was, you know, really only one thing that she wanted to know. Why did he do it? Basically, he didn't know, but that she was a very brave girl for telling that she did and that he was really proud of her and that she'd helped him stop. I accept that I am capable of sexual feelings towards children. I know I can be aroused by children. And I want to stop that from happening again. And then slowly Stephen spent more and more time with us. And to begin with, there'd always be a social worker there. We were all 
underwent therapy throughout that year. All of us were assessed. It was a good year from the time we all met as a family till Steve was allowed back into the house. It was what Sophie wanted more than anything, more than anything. She wanted us to stick together as a family. Oh, that's fine, that's fine. Oh, oh, I can get out of there. Half a part there. 1,500. Okay, I think you should let her off that one. Okay. Okay, we'll just pretend that didn't happen. You know, when Stephen finally moved back, um, the girls were so happy, were so happy to have their dad back again. But I never stop monitoring. Always there's something. Looking for signs. very careful about who we tell these days. Um, it's taken us a long time to feel safe again. And I think we're all beginning to have that now and have a bit of peace in our lives. So we're very careful. And I don't think it's anyone else's business, to be honest. 